Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a sewer tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 8645 Southeast 36th Avenue here in Milwaukee. We're located on the rooftop. We're going through a four inch cast iron vent. This will be our point of access. I'm gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We currently have water running. Long drop down into here. And I'm gonna try and zero out right here at the, I believe this is the base of the vent. Or I'll zero out right here. This is where the uh, vent ties into the main line anyway. Transitions over to four inch concrete here, about 15 feet out. Now we're obviously going through some uh, serious debris here, it was what it looks like. There's been a bunch of stuff caught on the camera head. We've been pushing around. We've got quite a lot of standing water there, it looks like. And here at 60 feet out, we have reached the terminus for the line. I'll do locates to make sure we're out in the street. Now I'm going to let the line drain out here for a few minutes. There, so I have a feeling once it drains out, we're going to see uh, if there's either a belly or roots or, so, or a combination of the two it, uh, portion of that concrete. There was just a ton of standing water and debris in there. Alright, I did successfully locate the camera head out in the street, out on 36th. I was also able to visibly look through the manhole and see the camera underground. Looks like the line is still draining out here. We're going to give it just a minute or so longer.
I have all the water turned off now for at least five minutes, which is more than enough time for the line to drain. Uh, I'm going to start pulling back here. It's possibly either slow draining or waters. Could be coming into the line somewhere from outside the pipe. We'll see. Now this joint right here is showing separation. There's a there's a few of these throughout the line. This one's kind of hard to see just because of the, the way the pipe turns here. But there is some uh, some separation in that joint. Now this is uh, the part of the line I'm concerned about the most here. A lot of standing water. There's also a, uh, a joint that's separated right here. And this is what happens when the line settles. It actually looks like some small roots coming through there as well. Or starting to. Uh, but anyway, from this point right here on out, it is looking pretty darn good. It's old concrete, uh, but for the most part, there's hardly any aggregate showing through. There's one or two joints that are they're showing about a quarter inch or so of separation. Uh, no gaping holes or anything in the line. Uh, but I am going to locate right here at this spot. This is where there's a, a belly is ending in the lines at 41 feet. We'll reel back and kind of assess how big that, that repair is going to be. I'm picking the camera head up maybe a foot shy of the uh, sidewalk area in the dirt just beyond the fence. There's actually some blue markings there right next to the uh, water main shutoff. Looks like they're, they're riding right next to each other. I'm picking that camera head up there around 10 feet deep. It wouldn't surprise me if it was as far out as the line is and that in fact it goes out at basement floor level. Um, but whenever you have a line that deep, I always recommend doing relocates, especially uh, we've got overhead power lines. It's definitely worth double checking to make sure that depth is correct. But uh, the locate was coming in spot on. It's the depth I'm more uh, concerned about getting double checked. And that is marked with a wide X at 41 feet. And there's so much standing water there in the line. I, I think what we have here is just a significant belly in the pipe. Looks like there's probably two or three inches of standing water in the line. The water goes way up over the camera head. And the uh, repair would start here at about 28 feet. That's where the belly starts at. And extend out to 41 feet. And I'm going to go ahead and mark this here as well. There'll be a white X at either end of the belly. All right, located here, we're in the uh, front yard area, about halfway through it. The line kind of comes out of the, the front right, uh, to the far right side of the front of the house. Anyway, I'm also picking the camera head up here again at 10 feet deep, which makes sense. If the, the line's not grading down uh, and you have a belly, generally you're getting the same depth at either end of the, the belly. So I do recommend a repair there to correct that section of the line. Highly recommend it. Uh, it's not one that I would just do a hydro jet on and clean the debris out. Uh, it's just going to build right back up again. Uh, and the, uh, I don't know if the main or the water main itself is leaking. And it looks like we have a separated, separated joint here as well. Uh, but the line looks like it's right and pretty darn close to where the, the water main's coming in. Sometimes what can happen is the main can leak water and erode the dirt out from underneath the pipe, and it, then it ends up settling. 
I don't know if that's for sure, but whenever they're that close to the main, uh, it's always a possibility. Again, we have another separation here in the joint. And that one there is is pulled apart. It almost looks like there may be a root coming in there under the water, but that joint's pulled apart enough that uh, I'm going to go ahead and mark this spot here as well. Now look at this spot. There's a little kind of stone walking path that goes uh, parallels the front of the house, and this is just beyond that uh, in, in the little fern bushes there in front. I'm getting a depth here of around nine feet. Another separated joint right here. Uh, it's at a point where ideally I would update the entire uh, concrete section at this point. Obviously the, the major issue there is running from about 28 feet to 41 feet where there's a significant belly. Uh, the other issues, the separated joints at this time don't appear to be causing uh, any significant flow issues or anything like that. Uh, but but it, it's hard to tell, but some of them could be allowing water to seep out. Um, and when a joint's separated like uh, some of those there on the line, it, it could allow roots to come through in the future. So at this point, with the big belly there in the front of the yard, having to dig down 10 feet, I would say you're, you're better off just to replace the whole concrete section, at least through the yard. Um, it's going to be more cost effective that way. But the most important part of the repair here, would, if uh, obviously if cost is a concern, um, get the belly repaired uh, before anything else. That's the major issue. Uh, in the event that the entire uh, line gets replaced or, or concrete section, I'm going to mark right here. This is the cast iron transition, and I'll mark this with a white T. Okay, and I marked right here. There's a like holy bushes, something of that nature, right in the front of the house. I'm picking the locator up pretty much right underneath that stuff where the the transition point is at. It's hard to get a depth there because all the bushes are, are in the way of getting the locator all the way down to the ground. Uh, but I, I had it raised up off the ground a bit there and I was getting around seven and a half feet. So use some caution when digging there. Uh, either way, I do recommend doing uh, relocating just to double check the depths. I'm getting consistently deep depths throughout, um, but it's still worth doing. And again, uh, as a kind of a final rundown here, uh, we've got a... Uh, couple separated joints between the cast iron transition and the belly um, and then there's a couple less significant ones after the belly my main concern with the line currently is the again is the belly from 28 feet to 41 feet uh, it's it's the most cost effective time to do a full line update uh, I understand that cost can be an issue uh, so anyway it'd be most cost effective to do a full concrete update at this time uh, but the belly is the most important thing to get taken care of. And if that's taken care of, the line will, will be free flowing and function just fine. The rest of that stuff are, are mostly uh, concerned that there could be some water seeping out through those joints and it could allow roots to come through in the future. None of those separated joints appear to be affecting the flow. I'm going to go throw the camera out. I recommend a rescope after any repair work is done to ensure that it was done properly.